What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another 15 minute practice requested by and it's going to be a hamstring flexibility routine. As always, this routine is going to be for absolutely all levels. If you're a beginner, I'm just gonna recommend that you have a pair of yoga blocks handy to modify some of the positions, as well as checking the easier variation that we're gonna be putting up here, so you can follow the routine and adjust it to your own level. With that being said, the only thing that you're going to be needing it is your mat, so no equipment requires, aside from the yoga blocks, if you wanna modify some of those positions. Before we get into the video, I wanna announce the winners from last video giveaway which are going to be fat heel feroz workout legends with la che i like that name and harshita chambra you guys just won three months for free as a premium membership to the sm academy full access to entire library of courses workout programs or individual moves so you can create your own workouts our hit section our calisthenics skill sections our mobility and flexibility protocol sections our hybrid home workout experience so you can work out at home and basically everything that is the universe of the sm academy remember that we post every thursday at 12 p.m est so if you comment within the first 60 minutes of the video you get a chance to win the giveaway with that being said i'll see you on the video Alright family, let's begin right away in the top of your mat. We're gonna lower down into a squat position. It's been warming up into the ankles as well as into the hips. The hips are very relatable to the hamstrings, so it's very hard to actually isolate either or. On the squat position, simply move side to side. Begin opening into the inner hips. You can also use your hands to assist you with that external rotation. You can also begin to send the chest forward creating some nice flexion on the lumbar region in the entire spine as well. Whenever you're ready, you can find some stillness in your squat position, allowing your body and gravity to do its work. From here, keeping your hands on the mat or on a pair of blocks, I'm gonna transition into a standing forward fold. So lift the hips up and back, extend the knees. Trying to, you can keep a small soft bend on the knees on this first time. Then as you inhale, you drop down into a squat. And as you exhale, you lift your hips up and you get into the standing forward fold. Let's move between those two positions organically, trying to find different areas of the hips and the hamstrings, creating every time more length as you extend into the standing forward fold, maybe moving side to side, simply warming up for a quick time into the hamstrings inhaling on the squat, exhaling on the standing forward fold. You can also release the hands and use your own strength of your legs to move between in and out of the two positions. Let's find ourselves in the standing forward fold. Bring the feet slightly closer together, about hips distance apart, grab opposite elbows, begin doing little pulses down. Keep a small contraction on your quads so the hamstrings relax and it also protects the knee. Do not force it too much, simply bounce with the assistance of gravity and a little bit of help of yourselves. You can move now to the left. As always, moving with your breath, switch it over towards the right. If you had the small soft on your knees, you can try to extend completely the knee. Go back to center. Now relax, maybe relax the hands on the block or on the mat. Again, move side to side, find, finding different areas of your hamstrings. If your hands planted and if your hands doesn't get to the ground, you can simply soft bend on your knees and begin walking yourself back. We're gonna be going all the way down into a downward facing dog. Move slow and try to get there with as much control as possible. As you get there, extend through the shoulders and through the traps, arms completely straight, lift the hips up and back into the first downward dog of the day. Gaze softly in between your knees and find stillness in the pose. If your heels doesn't get to the uh, mat or if this is the first downward dog of the day or if you're simply tied today, you can simply pedal out your feet, working to get each um, heel 
to touch the ground. On your next inhale, raise the left leg up towards the sky, hold it for three, two, one, bring the knee towards your nose, plant the foot in between your hands, lower the right knee for low lunge, take a deep inhale, only one breath in here, and as you exhale, send the hips back for runner stretch or half split, flex the foot so we also involve the calf in this stretch, take a deep inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fall deeper, hold here for about 30 seconds. With every inhalation, you lift the chest slightly bit higher. With every exhalation, you fold yourself slightly bit deeper, always looking for elongation of the spine rather than compression of the spine. Bring the right hand to the outside of your foot. Take the inhale for a twist on this runner stretch. You can always avoid this twist and just stay on the runner stretch. Then inhale back to the position, shift the weight forward, uncurl the toes back, put the foot at about 45 degree angle to the right, extend the left leg, inhale, lift your chest, create elongation with the spine and begin to round and fall forward for a deep, deep stretch on the left hamstring. We're basically on a extended uh, pyramid pose, so a longer than usual stand. Keep leading with your chest forward and keep finding depth on your left hamstring. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the left knee, big step forward, support yourself on the left foot and bring the right knee towards your chest. Hold it for three, two, one, place both hands on your hips, extend the right leg, even if it drops a little bit, extend it completely, hold it for three, two, one, bend the knee again, now grab the inside of your toes with your right hand, if you fall that's totally fine, extend the leg forward towards you and hold it for five, four, bring it a little bit higher, three, two, one, extend the foot now towards the right, so open the hip towards the right and hold it for five, four, an extra challenge, you can look towards the left shoulder, three, two, one, bring it forward, release the foot, now bring the foot back for a short stand of pyramid pose, so the same pose that we did, but now with a shorter stand, right foot is 45 degree angle, square your hips, inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fall deeper into your forward fall. Hold it here for about 20 seconds. Options to flex the foot and get a deeper stretch now also on the calf. Plant your hands on the floor, bring the foot back into your downward facing dog. Let's go towards your side, inhale, right leg up, hold it for three, two, one, exhale, knee to nose, plant the foot in between your hands, drop the left knee, inhale for low lunge, only one breath, and as you exhale, stand the hips back, flex the uh, right foot, inhale, lifting your chest, and exhale, fold for the runner stretch. Your hips are in an anterior pelvic tilt, as you send the hips back, you're leading with your chest, going forward, getting a deep stretch on the right hamstring. We're gonna be holding here for about 30 seconds. Trying to relax the body, relax the mind. Doing your best to make every exhalation a little bit longer than the inhalation promote the parasympathetic nervous system to turn on, basically for our mind to relax. 
Feel free to reach your hands slightly forward for a deeper stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up, bring the left hand to the outside of your leg. Take a deep inhale and twist over towards the right, trying to keep your hips square. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Go back to center, make sure your hips are square. Soft bend or full bend on the right leg. Uncurl your toes and lift the left leg. Adjust your feet to a 45 degree angle with a long, long stand. From here, inhale, lift your chest. Lead with your chest forward, 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 the crown of the head as well. And then exhale forward, fold into the right leg. Trying to breathe into the right hamstrings. I know that sounds weird and might not be possible right now. That is the intention. We're gonna connect with the muscle that we are stretching. Once again, if you did it on the other side, option to flex the right foot. Big transition, bend the right knee, support yourself on the right foot and Bring the left knee up towards you, hands on the hips, hold it for five, four, find your balance first, three, two, one, extend the left leg, hold it for five, four, point your toes, create a nice line of energy forward for three, two, one, bend the knee again, grab the index finger and middle finger to the inside of your big toe and extend the leg. From here, draw the left shoulder back. It tends to actually go forward. So bring it back and try to get the leg as high as you possibly can. Hold it for three, two, one. Now bring it towards the left. And if you did it on the other side, you can gaze at your right shoulder. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, release the foot, bring the foot back for the short stand pyramid pose square your hips inhale lift your chest and exhale fold trying to keep your back flat as much as possible creating length in the hamstring as you find your maximum depth you will begin to run you can move side to side finding different areas of your hamstrings maybe the medial side the lateral side again option to flex the foot and also pulse in and out. And I'm giving you all these modifications in case you wanna repeat this routine. Or in case you repeat this routine, you have several things to play with. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Pivot both feet to the side of your mat for this. Not so wide forward fall, but wider than hip distance. From here, grab both toes again from the inside, just like we did standing. Inhale, lift your chest as high as you possibly can, and exhale forward fall. Pull yourself down with your middle finger and index finger, elbows wide to the outside, and hold it here. Try to find stillness in the pose. Remember that a relaxed mind will be a relaxed body. And also do not push, push it too far, too fast. That might send pain signals to your body and it will contract, which is the opposite of what we want. Place both hands on the mat or in a couple of blocks. Let's go a little bit wider now. So pivot outside the toes, then heels, then toes. Then inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fall slightly bit deeper. You can stay here on your hands or you can work again on getting a little bit deeper by grabbing the toes. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fall deeper. If your head touches the ground, you have a couple of options. First one, if you bring your legs closer, it'll be more intense. Or second, simply release and walk your hands behind you. I'm gonna hold here for about 30 seconds, so find your spot, find your progression, and stay there. Just 
slowly begin to walk out of the position. Bring the feet closer to you. Drop down into a little squat and sit down on your butt. Twist over towards the front of your mat and bring both legs in front of you for a seated forward fold to almost finish the practice. Take a deep inhale as high as you can. This will be almost the last deep stretch that we're getting into. And fall leading with your chest forward, not down, forward, 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 anterior, anterior pelvis. If you need another inhale, use it. And then exhale, fall slightly bit deeper in whichever position you are, whether it's here, here, or here. Simply stay there. I'm gonna be holding it for one minute. If your body allows you to go a little bit deeper as it opens up, you again use your inhale to lift higher, and use your exhale to go a little bit deeper. Slowly begin to pull yourself up out of the pose. Bring the left knee towards you for a final twist, as always. Inhale, lift your right arm. You can simply hug yourself right here, like this variation, or you can cross the elbow to the outside and twist a little bit deeper and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, release down, extend the left leg, bring the right knee towards you, inhale, left arm up, exhale, elbow to the outside of your knee, and exhale, twist. Four, three, two, one, release back to center, bring both feet in front of you, give it a shake to your legs, give it small palms to your legs, Feel proud for making it this far. Might be an easy routine uh, if you have flexible hamstrings, or it might be a pretty challenging routine if you have pretty tight hamstrings. Whichever it is, accept the journey exactly as it is. You can incorporate this routine um, at the end of your main workouts. This routine can also be done in a daily basis since it's a very, very short routine. Also, if this was way too intense, you can check our beginner's hamstring routine for beginners, uh, which I'm gonna link it up right here. You might be able to follow that. And that's it for today's practice. If you have any ideas for the 50 minute series, I see that you guys are really, really enjoying that series. So we're gonna be continuing with that series. If you have any ideas for the series, please leave it in the comment section down below and we'll make sure to cover that. If you're into this channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content in the future. Like and share the video if you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I'll see you all next week. Much love, guys. After hamstrings, it's always good to try to press. I mean, if you can press, but you can practice your presses because hamstring flexibility makes, makes everything easier, makes life easier. I love you guys so much, subscribe.